Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use fingerprint scanning with your Arduino projects, including what module to use, the physical wiring, how to add fingerprints to the database, and then how to use those fingerprints programmatically to do interesting things. Okay, so to keep this a quick tutorial on how to use fingerprint scanning in Arduino and not dive too deeply into the various types of technology behind different fingerprint scans, just understand that the sensor I'm using in this video is an optical fingerprint sensor. It communicates over UART protocol, which is more commonly known as UART, as some of my pedantic viewers have noted in past videos. But um, what an optical fingerprint sensor is doing is when you register a fingerprint, it basically takes a high resolution photo of your fingerprint pressed up against glass. And then when you scan again in the future, it's comparing those two photos using like a picture matching algorithm. And the higher the level of confidence in it, the more likely it is to be a match. I'm very impressed with the simplicity and ease of use of the fingerprint scanner that I have so far. It's the optical fingerprint scanner from DF Robot. This is the second time I've used a DF Robot sensor on the channel. The first was the voice sensor module a couple videos back. They've both been incredibly easy to use, super easy to integrate with the Arduino board. They both use UART communications. And just like the first one, the this module has a super thorough, really easy to understand uh, wiki page and online documentation on the website on how to use it. And again, one thing that makes this kind of add to a project super easy and streamlined is that there are libraries and example codes that are going to get us really close. So whatever your application is, it's always a good idea to piggyback off of a library or an existing module that kind of gives you some of the framework for you. Let's talk about the specific application that I've built because it's pretty cool. So the UART fingerprint sensor module comes with the six pin cable to connect it to the back. And although there's six wires, you actually only need four to make this work. The black wire is going to be your ground. The red wire is going to be your five volt power from the Arduino. And then the white is going to be your read or data input wire, while the green is going to be your transmit or data output wire. The yellow wire is called the induction signal output, and the blue wire is called the touch induction power input. And we're not going to be using those for this basic application, okay? So the actual wiring of this module is super duper clear. I have this red wire jumping from the five volt power of my Arduino over to the positive power rail, and then the black wire from the ground to the negative power rail, and that's tied to the red and black wires going to my fingerprint sensor. That's all I need to power it. Then I have a green and white wire connected to the green and white wires for transmit and receive communications, and I have those going into pins two and three, which when we take a look at the Arduino code, you'll see that those are the transmit and receive for a soft serial connection. If you've been following along with the Arduino videos on the channel, you've seen soft serial before for the Bluetooth module, for the voice recognition module, so that's not a new concept to you. But if soft serial is a new concept to you, you just need to understand that serial communications are basically just transmitting and receiving data ones and zeros at an incredibly high rate known as the baud rate. You can look into soft serial versus hard serial if you want at some point. It's super fascinating stuff, but we're not going to dive into it too much for this video. We're going to try to keep it moving. And the only other wiring I've done for this project is I have a green LED and a yellow LED so that when I register two different fingerprints with this sensor, I'll be able to turn the green light on if I use, let's say, my index finger and the yellow light on if I use my thumb. So for example, if I scan my index finger, I want the green light to turn on. But then if I scan my thumb, I want the yellow light to turn on. And obviously, you're probably going to want to build an application with a lot more interesting stuff than just flipping between two LEDs. But since this isn't a tutorial on how to turn on lights, it's a tutorial on how to use fingerprint sensors. Two LEDs is a great example uh, scenario for this video. Okay, and that's really it for the wiring. If you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. But let's take a look at the software piece of this project. Okay, so from the Arduino IDE, go ahead and plug in your board and uh, set up the communication to it. I have an Arduino Uno. It's showing up on COM port 19, which seems high, but what do, what do I know? 
then at the top of the window, uh, go to sketch and then include library and then manage libraries. And in the library manager, you should just be able to type in fingerprint and this will be the first one that shows up. Um, it's the Adafruit fingerprint sensor library. So even though the module is by DF Robot, they built a sensor that's compatible with the existing Adafruit sensor uh, library. That's straight from their online documentation. So just make sure to include that. And then actually for registering the fingerprints, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the examples tab. So still with the library manager open, if you hit the little three dots there, and then you go to examples, there's one called enroll, and you wanna open that example right up because that is gonna give you the framework for enrolling fingerprints with your sensor. Okay, so uh, only thing you need to double check and you can get rid of some of the boilerplate code if you want. It is useful to read those comments, um, but I want to make it easier to see on my screen. <clears throat> so make sure that for the software serial, you have your transmit and receive ports. Again, the green wire um, should be on two, or the the green wire should come first. So if you didn't use pin two and pin three, which is what I used, just make sure this goes in the order of the green wire uh, to the to the sensor and then the white wire to the sensor. So for me, that's pin two and three. I feel like I've talked about that enough. Um, and then the rest of this example is doing everything else for you, all the way down to setting baud rates and checking like uh, initial c communication, detecting a fingerprint sensor uh, in there, and then finger dot begins. So there's a lot of stuff in here where you don't necessarily need to know what it's doing because it's driver code created by vendors who sell fingerprint modules. So the code is pretty well commented and it's pretty easy to understand if you really parse through it. There's a lot of built-in functions for checking if it successfully received. Um, or didn't receive an image and you can kind of tell how this technology works by reading this code because basically it's waiting to see a finger taking a picture of a finger and then if it's able to successfully parse and store that data it'll say fingerprint um, okay it'll ask you to scan it a second time if the two fingerprints match it'll say great and it'll ask you for a number to enroll that fingerprint if not it'll say it'll fail um, which doesn't really harm anything it just won't store that fingerprint and you have to kind of try it again so I really don't think we have to change anything else let's just go ahead and upload this to our board Okay, and what you'll see real quick is when you go to the serial monitor, you'll get this Adafruit fingerprint fingerprint sensor enrollment, and then it'll say, hey, I found the sensor, that's great. It'll set up some basic parameters. We didn't change these. This module can hold a thousand fingerprints. Um, and, uh, and so let's just go down and take a look. It says, ready to enroll a fingerprint. Please type in the ID you wanna save this finger as. Let's go ahead and see now let's scan my middle finger because I have my thumb and my index and I want to leave those in there already. So let's say uh, I think I used one and 127 already. Um, let's go ahead and make this uh, two. I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, I want to make this two. And what you'll see once you've typed in the number, the module lights up because it's scanning. So the green LED on the face of it turns on, which is really cool. Now let's go ahead and scan my middle finger and it says image converted, image taken, remove finger, place the same finger again. Okay, and I print it, I, I put my finger on there again and it said prints match, ID2 stored, that's great. So let's go ahead and do another finger, I guess. Let's say, let's do the ring finger and let's make that one three. I don't know why I made the one 127, I just was feeling cheeky. All right, ring finger, image taken, image converted, remove the finger. All right, place the same finger again. Let's put it back down. And actually that time it couldn't find the features. I kind of put the finger uh, on the side of the glass, kind of on purpose, kind of accidentally. Um, but you can see all it does is it resets and it says, hey, I didn't have confidence in that picture. I'm not comfortable uh, storing that fingerprint, but go ahead and do it again. So let's do three and let's try to do the ring finger again. And if I fail, we might just move on here. So, okay, image taken, image converted, ID three, place it again. Let's try to get a good one there. Creating model, fingerprints did not last, match. Um, I've had this problem before with that finger. Maybe I got like burnt on the finger pad or something. Let's try it one more time. 
Image converted, remove finger. Place the same finger again. Bang, they matched. Okay, there we go. So you can see if you have friends, if you have family, if you're a teacher and you have a whole class or whatever, you could go through this exercise and get a scan from every person. It'd be a fun way to have your database. Make sure you track somewhere which fingers do which thing. Um, but fortunately, there's another example that will let us see um, our scans and what they're stored as, okay? So we're gonna exit out of the serial monitor and we're also gonna exit out of this sketch. So if you remember, for this sketch, we were in the library manager, we were looking at fingerprint by Adafruit, we were looking at examples, and all of that in rolling fingers was in roll. Now we're going to go to fingerprint, which all it does is it scans our fingerprint, and it's going to tell us by default, this is what the built-in program does, it's going to tell us what fingerprint just got scanned in. This is how we can check and make sure that our module is successfully picking up what it just scanned. I'm gonna delete out some comments. In general, you should not delete comments of modules you didn't make. It's a good way for you to forget what code is supposed to be doing. I'm just doing it so it's a little bit easier to read. You can see the same software, my serial lines at the top of the program. Um, and so just make sure if you didn't do two and three to leave them as two and three. We're still not doing anything with the LED lights yet. We're just focusing on getting the fingerprint scanning working perfectly. All right, but we're gonna just kind of go down and I don't think there's anything else right now that we need to add or change to this code. Okay, so let's go ahead and just upload this to that same board. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up the serial monitor. And you'll see it's saying no finger detected at a scan rate of uh, 50 milliseconds. So it's checking 20 times a second. Now let's go ahead and scan the index finger. Image taken and it found 127 with a confidence of 108. That's really good. It's super confident that uh, the finger is accurate. Now let's do my thumb. Okay, that's number one with a confidence of 108. That's really high actually, before I was getting like 60s and stuff. Now I'm gonna do my middle finger, which we just registered, and that says, hey, that's number two, still really confident. Now I'll do my ring. Hey, that's number three, really confident. Let me try to do a bad scan like the side of my finger and it doesn't find a match. So now let me do a little bit better. I'm gonna keep kind of rolling my index until it just detects it, but maybe with less confidence. Yeah, so there we go, like the flat pad of my finger um, only got a 95 there with the, with the fingerprint detection. It's a little bit hard to see because it's scrolling by um, pretty fast since it's doing this 20 times a second, but hopefully what you can see, so index gives me 127, thumb gives me one, Middle finger gives me two, and then ring finger gives me three. So just like that, I have four fingers registered and it took a couple of seconds and four wires. So this is where using smart sensors gets incredibly cool because you don't have to do a ton of complicated programming. Most of the time the vendors are providing examples for you and the wiring is relatively simple because there is a little bit of brains in your sensor. So that's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. Now let's just take a look at how to use these fingers to do different things with our LEDs, okay? So specifically, I think it'd be cool to have, let's say the index turn on the green light, the thumb will turn on the yellow light, that's kind of the functionality we talked about in the intro. And then I'll use my middle finger to turn off both lights, and then I'll use the ring finger to turn on both lights. I'll probably forget how to do that by the time I get the code pulled up, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at that, okay? So, and uh, this is the first code that is not just an example program. Um, everything else that we did today, the enrolling of the fingerprint, the checking, um, don't save, the checking of the fingerprint, everything else we've done so far has been just straight examples, so I'm not gonna leave links to those. The one we're about to do with the LED control um, is a little bit more unique. It's still piggybacking off of the finger example that we were just looking at, um, but I will leave a link to it because I know um, there's a chance you guys might want to uh, use this specific code as a backbone for your project. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down under get fingerprint ID, which is the function pre-built in, running over and over again in the loop to get the fingerprint ID. And all I did is I dug into get fingerprint ID a little bit and I saw that it was getting an image. If it was good, 
then it was returning um, P, which was like the code, but then it was converting that to a TZ, which must be their uh, like checker. And if fingerprint is okay, they convert the image and then eventually it comes down into this thing finger.finger ID. So basically, all you really need to know to use these fingerprints in your custom Arduino code is that finger.finger ID is the thing gets, that gets returned when there's a successful scan from the module. Okay, so I come up just under where get fingerprint ID is, and I add in some if statements. And these could be else if statements. Um, but uh, basically what I'm saying first is, okay, if finger ID is 127, and again, I don't know why I made my index finger 127, I just did, I'm a goofy little guy, all right? Um, so if 127, I'm gonna turn the green LED on and I'm gonna turn the yellow LED off, so that'll be index finger. If it's my thumb, which is one, I'm gonna turn green off and then I'm going to turn uh, yellow on and now let's add in two more right because we just added two more fingers So I'll say if and then two and I'll say middle finger will turn them both off So low low and then I'll do another else if and I'll say that will turn them both on so high high whoops Hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> Good one. All right. Hi, hi, and that's if the finger is three and it's not generally advisable with stuff like this that's doing uh, like 20 scans a second to use an else statement, like a blanket statement at the end, unless you want something that only lights up while it's actively successfully scanning a finger. Because if I were to put an else down here, anytime I didn't have a finger down at all, it would undo whatever I did before. So I'm not using an else, I'm using a if and a bunch of else ifs, okay? Um, but this legitimately is the only code we have to build on top of obviously like setting up, uh, defining a green LED pin, a yellow LED pin, and then setting them up as outputs in the setup code, which is very basic stuff. So if you are that level of beginner with Arduino, I have a full Arduino tutorial series on the channel. You can check that out. But without any further ado, let's just upload this to the board and let's take a look now and see if we can successfully get all of these scanning. Okay, so now we can see when we upload to our board, the fingerprint uh, scanner starts blinking green. It's looking for a finger to scan. Let's do the index, that should be just green. Let's do the thumb, that should be just yellow. Oop, got a bad scan. Just yellow. Let's do the middle finger, that should turn them both off and let's do the ring, that should turn them both on. Okay, and I think that's pretty sweet. I mean, I know that uh, I geek out over this stuff, which probably is the reason I started a YouTube channel on it in the first place, but I just think it's so cool how technology that as a kid seemed like science fiction to me. I mean, I knew fingerprint scanning was a thing, but it was like a thing of spy movies. In my opinion, building stuff like this is just really rewarding, and it's been really rewarding as well to see how well um, the YouTube community has been responding to a lot of the Arduino videos I've been doing. It means a lot of other people find it pretty fun as well. Okay, so that is going to do it for this video. A massive thank you to DF Robot for sending me the sensor used in this video. Be sure to check out their website because in addition to this fingerprint sensor and the voice recognition module, which I've done videos on. They have tons of great products that can be used for a wide variety of projects. Their website is super easy to use. It's super well documented and it has technical examples and typically YouTube links for all of their projects. A huge thank you to the Patreon supporters as always. Thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel, leaves nice comments on videos, drops likes on the videos, and be sure if you have any questions to drop them in the comments below and let me know down there what we should do next on the channel as well. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. As always, good luck with your projects and until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.